Hey guys, it's Kaylin and welcome back to another video. I cannot believe it is already the end of April. Where has this month gone? But that does mean it is time to prep and plan for May. Today we're going to be doing our goal setting, planning, budgeting, and cleaning for the month ahead. May is definitely going to look a little bit different for me when it comes to goal setting and planning, but I did still want to sit down and prep and plan for the month ahead. It's always nice to take a day, take a few hours to kind of sit and center myself around the month ahead. It definitely just helps get me in the right mind mindset for a new month, especially a month that might look a little bit different. It's nice to just prepare myself and get ready for it. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kayla. I'm a social media manager and content creator, and we do work, productivity, and lifestyle vlogs here on my channel, so I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. And without further ado, let's get into our May monthly reset routine. I think we're going to start off with goal setting and then go from there. Starting off with goal setting, I want to take a look at my April goals, and overall, we accomplished all of them but one. I would say April was a really great month. I feel like I accomplished a lot without like stressing myself out or burning myself out. I found a really good balance this month. And on our goal sheet, we crossed everything off but one, which is amazing. On social media, I hit 5.5K on YouTube. I uploaded 12 videos to YouTube. I posted on TikTok every day, which was a big one I wanted to accomplish this month after missing it the last few months. For finances, I saved $1,000. I also earned an AdSense paycheck. This was like my highest AdSense paycheck of the year also, so that was exciting. For health and wellness, I went to the gym five times per week every week this month and I also closed my loops every day. The one goal we didn't hit was write three times per week as much as I really want to accomplish this goal and like actually get started on writing. It just hasn't been a priority for me so far this year and I think I'm going to take a few months to pause from it. Especially May and June are going to be very crazy hectic months so I just don't think it's going to be something I can work towards now but we'll reevaluate in a few months and see if we can kind of add it back to our list and actually work towards that but for now I'm going to stop kind of setting that goal if I can't work on it. Prioritizing and working on a lot of other things right now and that is totally okay. But we did accomplish our last two goals which were to read 20 books and read three new book bonanza authors. I'm going to a book conference in July and I want to just read more attending authors and I read at least three new ones. I think I read four or five new to me authors from the attending list and we read more than 20 books this month which we've done every month this year so far. So April was a good month. I'm really proud of myself for all that I accomplished especially with posting on TikTok every day. I feel like it really kind of revamped my TikTok and what I'm posting on there and found a good method to consistently posting every day, which is a big thing. Now looking ahead and thinking about May, May is definitely going to look very different than April did. I've already talked about it quite a bit on my channel. I'm just so excited for it, but Brian and I are going to Hawaii for like the second half of the month. We're going to be in Hawaii for 10 days. I have almost two weeks off in a row from work. I am so looking forward to this vacation. I really just need two weeks to log off from work, not have to worry about anything. I'm planning on still posting consistently on YouTube throughout the month, but I'm also not going to be too hard on myself if I miss an upload or two. May is really going to be my relaxing, chill, enjoy it myself month where I'm not going to stress myself out with goals. I'm just going to enjoy the month as it comes. I do still want to try and stay consistent and motivated in the first half of the month and still work really hard on all of my goals then, but I'm not going to set super strict or specific goals that are going to span the whole month because like I said, the second half the month is going to be all about chilling, relaxing, enjoying life. That being said, I don't really know how I'm going to write or break down my goals for the month. Every month so far this year, I've been breaking them down into social media, finances, health and wellness, and books, but I feel like that's not going to really work for me this month, so I think I might just make one list of goals and really keep it short, sweet, and simple. So I'm going to sit down and brainstorm what we actually want to accomplish in May and how we're going to lay it out, and then I will show you my goal list after that. That jam that you bumping in the car on the radio Friends so disgusted, wonder how the hell they play it Then damn. secretly you know they're gonna save it to their playlist Dance to it alone and claim they hate it Later that. be the one to say I like when they were nameless uh. like I Okay, I have my May goals all written out here I decided to break it down into the same four categories Because honestly it would have bothered me if it looked different Some of these goals definitely are only applicable to this month Or look a little bit different But I wanted to keep the themes consistent for this whole year So let's dive into these goals on social 
social media, I want to hit 5.8K on YouTube. This is a little bit of a stretch goal just based on how many followers I've been kind of gaining each month this year, but we're manifesting a really great month here on YouTube and hopefully it will hit that goal. My goal for uploads is 10 videos. I think if I posted every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it would be 13, but trying to give myself a little bit grace with uploads. If I miss a few, that's totally okay. And then I want to post regularly on TikTok. I'm not setting a specific number, but I just want to continue to post throughout the month, even if it's not every single day, especially on vacation. I do want to try and still upload. I'm planning to pre-film a bunch, so I have options to post. But again, my main goal is to relax and enjoy my vacation. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Then for finances, I want to earn an AdSense paycheck. That should happen, no problem. And then I also put don't stress about money on vacation. I feel like I've had a lot of anxiety recently when it comes towards money. I really just want to enjoy our vacation to the fullest. I have money in savings. If I go a little buck wild on vacation, that is okay. It is a time to treat and enjoy myself. And then for health and wellness, first goal is one we've done every month this year, and that is to close my loops every day. The next two are a little bit different and apply specifically to vacation, and that is no work in Hawaii. If you work in social media, you know how hard it is to turn off and disconnect from work. My plan is to log out of Slack, delete Slack off my phone, log out of my email on my phone, not touch anything my whole entire vacation. I'm going to tell my general manager if there's an emergency to text me, but really just trying to disconnect completely for the 13 or 14 days that I have off. And then my next goal is to relax and enjoy vacation. I just don't want to stress about anything and maybe this is not totally health and wellness related, but I think it is. I think wellness encompasses a lot of things and I think relaxing and enjoying my vacation is going to pay off the rest of the year. I think it will help a lot with like feeling stressed and burnt out. So I think it's something super important and I wanted to include it on my goals list. My last and favorite category of books, I want to read 20 books again this month. That should definitely be doable with vacation. I will definitely be spending a lot of days at the pool or on the beach reading. So that is a goal we can easily accomplish. And then I want to hit 100 books for 2022. This one is definitely going to happen. I have like 10 books to read before we hit it, but I thought I would put it on there to cross off as well. And then lastly, I want to read five new book bonanza authors, just continuing with that this month and reading new authors before that book conference in July. Okay, those are my May goals. I'm so looking forward to this month. Vacation is so needed and I wanted to include that in my goals and really just make my goals reflect a light, relaxed, and enjoyable month. Okay, that is it for the goal setting portion of this video. I'm not really sure what I'm going to hop into next. I do want to do is some light cleaning and decluttering. Nothing too crazy. I do need to do some digital decluttering as well. And then also at some point I want to plan out content more for this month and set up our budget for the month as well. I think I'm going to hop into cleaning. I should probably start some laundry and just do some light cleaning in our room and the bathroom. And then we'll hop into the rest of the topics for this video a little bit later. So we're famous. Ain't it funny all the years you gotta put into the struggle and it's just so you can try to entertain us. Waiting for them summertime sick. Radio hits when we bounce with our friends like this. Hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all lit. Yeah. Grateful to this how we live. Time and money just to hear it at a festival. Play it in the car at a party. Show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way. You know what's getting played. Hit the play. Okay, I just got a ton of cleaning done. It's not even noon and I've just accomplished so much today already. I'm feeling really good. It's also just nice and sunny outside, which always boosts my mood as well. So overall, it's just been a really great day to do a monthly reset. Like I said, got a ton of cleaning done. I wiped down all the mirrors in our room, vacuumed our room. I wiped down the counters in the bathroom, and then I just put in a load of laundry, bathroom towels, kitchen towels, some miscellaneous blankets and stuff that needed to be washed. So just a ton of cleaning is done for the day, for the weekend, feeling really good about that. I think we're going to take a quick break to go pick up lunch. It sounds like a Chipotle Saturday, which is the perfect thing. And then we'll hop in to the rest of our reset planning and budgeting after that made a radio song no one that will sing along when we hear it on they made a radio song no one that will sing along we'll Time for planning and budgeting. I think I'm gonna do budgeting first just to get it out of the way. I already know I went over my budget in April just on how I spent throughout the month, but I'm totally okay with it. We did a handful of like extra fun things this month. Like we went to a pretty nice dinner for restaurant week. We went to a soccer game. So those are some extra expenses that were like worth it for the experience and for fun. And then I also did a bit of shopping for our trip next month, which I haven't really bought a lot of clothing in a while. So I'm not mad about that either. I also made a decent amount more this month. I had a bonus at work with my YouTube and affiliate money and then I got my federal
federal tax return back I'm still waiting on my state one but all of that together added like almost an extra thousand dollars of income this month so I was still easily able to save over a thousand dollars and I didn't go too much over my budget so really not bad about it I feel like there are like waves with budgeting I also feel like I budget way lower than what I could realistically spend in a month so I am okay with all of it I'm gonna go in and update my April budget make sure everything is written out and good to go there and then I'm going to set up my May budget so it's kind of prepped to update throughout the month Okay, just updated my April budget overall, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And the extra income for the month really offset anything extra that I spent. So I'm not mad about it. And I also hit my savings goal that I set for the month. So overall, it was a pretty good month with spending and budgeting. And then I also set up my May budget. I'm definitely just going to let the universe take over for May. And if I go over my budget, if I go under my budget, it is what it is. I just want to enjoy the month, especially vacation. So if if I spend a little extra this month that is totally okay so that's my budget update nothing too crazy I feel like it was a pretty straightforward month with finances it will definitely get a little bit trickier next month and in June with moving and everything and like deposits and all of that stuff so that will be a little bit more interesting for a finance update but April was pretty straightforward for that I also just updated my May content calendar so these are all the videos I have planned out for the month like I said I might miss a few uploads or it's gonna get a little funky at the end of the month with my vacation let me know if you care if vlogs are like out of order or not because some of my Hawaii vlogs might get pushed around like my June reset and my May books video just depending on how things go. I want to vlog this trip but I also don't want to put pressure on myself so we'll see how everything goes with videos this month. I'm going to not be as structured with when videos go up or like what goes up when so this is kind of my loose outline for May. I still have some open gaps here that I will fill in as the month goes on. I don't know if I mentioned this last month but I kind of updated how I mark off videos and like the progress of them so right now nothing is filled out they all just say to film but I have this little drop down arrow with the status of everything that I can update and you can see for April how it looks more throughout the month this video went up so this can go to uploaded so you can see how it changes and the different colors are structured in there so like currently filming this that's marked off there this is filmed I like this look a lot better and I feel like it looks a lot cleaner than all the check boxes and I like seeing how the status updates go so that is kind of my update for for my for my YouTube content calendar this thing is like my life I look at it 900 times a day but it's what keeps me on track and organized with YouTube okay that is my planning and budgeting for May again kind of a funky month so I feel like the planning and the budgeting looks a little bit different but we are all set up to go for the month I'm really excited for all the videos that we're gonna film all the travel vlogs and then June will be moving vlogs so stay tuned for that as well but I'm ready for a great month ahead and just getting myself organized Organized today. The last thing I want to do is some digital decluttering. I also need to do some physical decluttering in the next few weeks and stuff. I want to kind of prep a little bit for moving before we go to Hawaii because we come back from Hawaii and, and we'll basically hop straight into packing mode. So it's going to be a little bit stressful. So we'll definitely get jump started with that in the beginning of May, but I thought it would be a good a time to digitally declutter right now. I just have so many posts and videos and things saved up on my computer that need to go. I also need to upload all of my photos to my computer so I can clear off space on my phone because I just have way too many photos and videos on my phone and it's taking up way too much space. Now I'm gonna work on that decluttering things off of my computer and my phone and kind of getting a clear digital space for the month of May. Jam that you bump all night. Man, you must have heard it like a thousand times. Tweaking little bits till you get it right and right and right in on bites until you live the life of your dreams. Okay, it took a second for me to get my photos library to work for some reason, but we finally got my phone connected to my computer and all of my photos are uploading. I already cleared a ton of photos from my phone before I even connected it at all. And I'll go through and delete more once I upload all of these to my computer. So I have them backed up somewhere, but like a lot of these photos I don't need on my phone currently still. 
well not today but another day i'll go through and delete more of the photos so i have more space on my phone because i have like no space ever on my phone because i have way too many pictures and videos on it i also did a declutter of my computer itself just got rid of a lot of photos and other random things that i didn't need anymore on there i love having like a fresh and clean digital space it makes me so much more focused and just having no clutter on my computer makes it run a lot faster so that's super important and then i also made a new background for my computer i was getting a little bit tired of the one i had on there since the beginning of the year and i thought i would do a little hawaii inspiration wallpaper so let me show you that okay this is what i made super simple but i just wanted to capture hawaii and what the vibes were does some pretty scenery pictures also reading with my kindle at the pool like that's gonna be my vibe drinks by the pool you know the whole deal i'm so excited for this trip so stay tuned for the vlogs and everything to do with hawaii that'll come later this month but this will give me some good inspiration and motivation until we get there well i think that's gonna be it for my may monthly reset routine and we did all the things i like to do to prep and plan for a new month goal setting cleaning planning budgeting all of it and we also added some digital decluttering in there too may is gonna be such a good month definitely a little bit of a different one just focusing on rest and relaxation but i am so looking forward to that as always my monthly resets are inspired by the queen of monthly resets carter sullivan if you're not subscribed to her channel what are you doing go subscribe now but i love her so much and that's gonna be it for this video if you liked it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below it really supports my channel and helps my channel grow and of course if you're new don't forget to stick around and subscribe thank you so much for watching my may reset i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video